Hey, Gemini. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your love reading for the first half of February. This will be for Gemini, Sun will rising, also Venus. This is general. Please do only take what resonates with you. So let's hop in, my loves. Let it be great, of course. I am using the tea leaf um, oracle deck. I'm pulling a few messages that may or may not resonate with the reading. They may just be additional messages um, for you all. All right. So let's see what's going on with you, Gemini. If I resonate with you all, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. All right. Let's see what's going on, Gemini. Oh, shoot. Okay. This is trying to come out for sure. All right, let's see one more message. And let's see what's at the bottom of the deck for you, Gemini. We have harp. Great happiness. So great happiness is coming your way. Or you guys are going to be excited about something, okay? Um, so let's see what we got. We have mice. Discord among friends or family, okay? So there may be some family or friends around you that you need to um, cut ties to, okay? Don't trust everyone around you at this time. All right, we have desk. Pay attention to your work. So some of you guys are needing to pay attention to your work. Um, it did say friends, so maybe there's someone around you at work and they're being sneaky. The mice energy is here, okay? Maybe they're tampering with something or saying something or doing something, so just be careful with this person. And we have ink pot problems to be resolved. So this issue is going to be resolved, okay? Um, the truth is going to come out. Something is going to be in writing or something like that. But the ink pot is saying like something is going to be revealed. The problem is going to be resolved. But pay attention to your work or pay attention at work. Okay. Do pay attention at work. All right. So let's hop in, Gemini. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Spirit Universe. Love messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, also for Venus. In love, first half of February. Spirit Universe messages for Gemini and love, first half of February. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. All right, so let's see what's going on. All right, so let's look into the recent past. We have the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so some type of offer coming in with the Knight of Pentacles here. It was slow coming in, but this can be an offer that was coming in. This can be new love, a new person that you guys get, the Knight of Pentacles. This can be even your work, something moving like very slow, but it's like slow and steady, okay? Um, let's see how your person views the relationship. We have the Five of Wands. So there could be confrontation between you guys. Um, not getting along. Maybe they feel like you guys are just two different people. There are snakes in this person's head, though. So I feel like with the Five of Wands, be careful. We have the mice and we have snakes here. Okay? So, I don't know. Jim and I, let's see how you view the relationship. The moon in reverse. Okay? So some type of secret is going to be revealed. Some type of truth is coming out. All right, what happens in the dark comes to light with the moon in reverse. Could be a Pisces or a Cancer you guys are dealing with. Okay. Let's see the energy of this relationship right now. We have the Ten of Swords. Mm, yeah. For sure. So there's some type of ending here. Snakes in the grass because we have the Ten of Swords at the grass here. All right, let's see how your person feels about you, Gemini. We have the four of wands in reverse. So they see you as breaking things off, ending things, moving out, wanting them to move out, ups and downs in the relationship, um, getting family and friends involved, or something to do with family and friends, or someone coming in between you guys' relationship, possibly. And let's see how you feel about um, your person in this relationship right now, Gemini. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's over, it's done. You feel betrayed. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. 
Um, remember, we have desk. Pay attention to your work. So overall energy is just telling me, like, watch your money. Pay attention to your money. Pay attention at work. Um, some of you guys are maybe too focused on work that you're not seeing something that's happening right in front of you. Okay? So let's see how the eight of pentacles is the overall energy for you, Gemini. Gemini, 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 Gemini in love. Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. First half of February. Gemini. All right, let's see, Gemini, this Eight of Pentacles is here. Overall energy, the Chariot, and the Two of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like for the overall energy, the universe is seeing like focus on your work, focus on your career, focus on school. You're headed down a new path. It's going to be a lot of success in there. You're going to be happy, okay, um, with this new path you're walking are going down. We have the sun in reverse. Yeah. So there can be something that comes like, so this is like, there's a distraction. This whole relationship or this situation could be a distraction. Don't let this distract you. I know that's easier said than done, but something is going to distract you. Okay. You're not happy about something. You're going to find something out and it may distract you, but I see you still moving forward. Okay. Let's see how the sun is in reverse. We have lobster financial pinch. Okay. So remember I told you, watch, watch your money. Okay. Watch your money. Watch the money that you're spending. Watch how your money is coming coming in and out. Over like look over your bank account stuff like that. Um, we have financial pinch and we have older woman dealings a relationship with an older woman. So there can be an older woman using you guys, taking advantage, maybe pinching from your money. Um, this can be an older woman at work trying to block you. There could be some jealousy. I feel like this is more of like a like a general reading for you guys or like something to do at work because I feel like there's a love situation, but there's also, something to have to do at work, okay? So, let's see what we got, Gemini. I don't know, like, let me see. Why, who is this older woman? Who is this older woman? King of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. You're about to find out. So, yeah, let's hop into the reading. You're about to find out, and it has to do with the money. Okay, um, or some type of financial situation. All right. Um, all right, let's see. So we have the Knight of Pentacles here for the recent past. We have the Seven of Cups in reverse. Then we have it with the Queen of Swords in reverse. So you're gaining clarity about something. Okay. I don't know. I feel like there's a reason why you didn't trust someone or why you didn't like someone or why you got a bad vibe from someone. Okay. Um, there's also someone in between you guys' relationship, even though you are the queen of swords and you're coming up in reverse, there's someone in between you guys' relationship and they're shady and they're causing a lot of issues. Okay. So let's see. You have a queen of swords coming up in reverse. Yeah, the three of cups. Someone doesn't want to see you happy. Someone doesn't want to see you guys happy or be together. But then I also am getting third party energy. So the third party, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be like, it could be work, it could be other things. It doesn't always have to be like someone's cheating. But in this case, I kind of feel like it is. It could be a friend, it could be family. It could be family or friends on their end. There's something or someone that is in between you guys' relationship. And that's why it's been moving slow. And there's been some, some on and off and some stagnancy throughout the relationship or throughout the situation. All right, let's see how the five of wands is here. So this is how the person you're dealing with views the relationship. So let's see, five of wands. Why is the five of wands here? Will of fortune. Yeah, someone thinking that they're getting away with something. Um, the strength card in reverse. <sighs> they think that you're too naive or too blind to see what's going on. There's a snake around you. Snakes in the grass, for real. Let's see how the strength card is coming up in reverse. Ace of Cups. It's someone that you love and care about. Okay? It's someone that you love and care about and trust, but they're a snake. Okay? Or they're just doing something shady. Or whatever they're doing is about to come to light. You're going to find out. But they think you're too naive and blind to see what's going on because the strength card in reverse can be someone tired, overwhelmed. It's like you're stressed. It's like um, maybe like... With this energy here, it's like they know it's, it's kind of like they know how to get you 
to where they need you. Like, not to say like that, Gemini, but they know, like, your strong points, your weak points. They know, like, when you're going through a lot, how you feel when you're stressed, when you're under pressure, stuff like that. So, again, there's a snake in the grass, okay? Um, is what I'm getting. Let's see how the moon is in reverse. Could be a Pisces or a Cancer. And this is how you view the relationship. Ace of Wands, Five of Pentacles. So it has to do something with, it has to do with the money. You feeling used, taking advantage by someone, someone taking advantage of you. Um, there was some type of new beginning. You guys had just started over, just reconnected with the Ace of Wands. Our things are like very hot and passionate between you guys. And then it's like, it went from that to like just, being done dead and over okay so let's see how the five of pentacles is here because it's like someone could have like used you for something gemini all right use you for yep see six of pentacles or inverse be careful someone could have stole from you so i don't know i feel like it's someone that you guys know that's really close to you or someone that you guys slept with or deal with they stole from you or they've been pinching money from you because we have financial pinch and i feel like you didn't notice it and now you're noticing it you're noticing like where your money's going like you're like why is my money like the way it is or why are things the way they are so do be careful with your money and how your money like i said is coming in and out i'm recording okay so do watch your money and how it's coming in okay so let's see we have a ten of swords here this is the energy of the relationship now with the ten of swords so there definitely was some betrayal here. The death card. Whatever was happening, it's coming to an ending. It's coming to light, but it's coming to an ending. Like, you're going to put an ending to it. It's going to stop. It's like, it's done. Like, they can't do it no more. They can't. Let me see. Yep, see the devil. They keep, yeah. Someone around you guys was lying, shady, wasn't shit. Okay, Gemini, I'm glad you got rid of their ass or about to get rid of their ass. It's a friend or it's a lover. For some of you guys, it's a love situation. All right, let's see how the devil is here. Going to the devil. The Hermit in Reverse. Mm, yep. Could be a Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see. One, two, the Ten of Swords. Eight of Swords Reverse. No longer in your head about the situation. So it's like, because I feel like you were, okay. So the Eight of Swords Reverse, it's like, it's, I feel like whatever's going on, it's like all coming to you. You're like, you're like, oh no, like, okay, like really? Wow, okay. So you're getting it now. Let's see. Get a sword reverse. Yep, to a sword reverse. No longer blindfolded. Now seeing the truth in this situation. Now seeing what's really going on. Now seeing what they were doing. What's happening. So, I don't know, Gemini. Let's see. Why is the four of wands reverse for how your person feels about you? Why is the four of wands reverse? The queen of cups. And then we have temperance. So this person may feel like you're upset for right now. You don't want to deal with them right now. But they feel like you'll be back or give them another chance. They they feel like you love them, that you're going to reconcile with them, work things out. You guys are going to get back together. You're going to give them a second chance. They feel like you're going to do all of that. All right? Let's see why temperance is here. It could be a Sagittarius doing this. Ace of Swords. They feel like they got another chance or they're going to get a second chance. Um, with you or they feel like you're going to let um, them come back like you're going to you know want to start over and take them back let's see why the ace of swords is here the seven of pentacles okay so for some of you guys they do want to get back with you for financial reasons is do they want to get back with you and i for financial reasons the two of pentacles are reverse ace of swords for some of you guys yeah and i feel like you guys have did a lot for them i feel like you guys have gave them a lot financially or like maybe you just you hold it down in a relationship but someone wasn't being honest they were in it for like financial gain or it was just a codependent relationship two of pentacles are reverse with the ace of swords five of wands i feel like there could have been arguments and disagreements that they started on purpose with you or there's been multiple people multiple women they've been taken from multiple people okay but you and I, it's about to be over. Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? This is how you feel about your person. And I feel like an older woman maybe knew about it or knows about it. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Pentacles. Yep. This is how you feel about your person. And like, it's like, 
you're like because it's telling me the ten of pentacles are reversed to the nine of pentacles it's telling me like you're the one that makes more money you're the one that's more stable you're the one that's providing giving doing more okay um but to see the ten of pentacles in reverse you are now realizing that you're at a loss or that you didn't gain in this relationship that someone took advantage of you used you in this relationship nine of pentacles here the fool and we have the eight of swords all right you were okay so this person had you in your head thinking that you guys were starting over. There was some type of new beginning or you just thought things were good. This was a new beginning for you and love for some of you guys. Um, the Eight of Swords, someone is blindfolded and can't seem to think clearly. All right, let's see. Why is Eight of Swords here? Going to the Eight of Swords. The Empress. King of Cups in reverse. Wow. Someone also could have got someone pregnant. Why is the Empress here? The Magician and the Nine of Pentacles. They also see you as the Empress too. A manifester, wealthy, you know, healthy, living good, doing good. And they were taking advantage of the situation. They were already in another relationship. Um, once the King of Cups in reverse, you guys are coming up strong as the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the King of Cups in reverse? Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And they weren't giving, doing, or offering shit financially. They were just taking Okay, um, and for some of you guys, you weren't even in a like serious relationship. It's like they'll be over, you guys will deal with each other, see each other. I feel like this is maybe someone that you guys wanted to be with, but for others of you, like, no, what is this money situation about? Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, reverse. And I also feel like this person, you didn't say no to them, okay. And I feel like they overstepped your boundaries. They took advantage. They they were taking advantage. They took advantage. They see like every time I pull a card on you financially or ask about money, it's coming up. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, the Empress. So yeah. The Queen of Wands. You got your shit together. Yep. See, and they thought they can take advantage and use you and deceive you. You're putting an ending to that bullshit. Someone's also going to bring it to your attention, all right? So someone's going to bring it to your attention, like what's going on. And you're going to resolve it real quick. Um, let's see, pay attention to your work. We have the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Watch who's coming around you, your desk, your cubicle. Um, but I see you walking away and going towards something better, okay? Or... They're going to let go of the person or whatever this is about with the work. But pay attention to your work. All right. Um, let's look at this mice real quick also. See, it could be someone that you are close to in a relationship with, family. Someone knows. Are they in a relationship? The emperor, the person that they're in a relationship. Are they in some type of commitment? Or it's someone that you're committed to? It's like, even if you're committed or married, it's like they... They, oh, I even feel like someone opened up credit cards in your name and you didn't know about it. They've been using your credit. They've been doing certain things. They knocked something out. You're finding something out with Gemini. All right. Let's see what the overall energy is for Gemini in love. First half of February. We have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. All right. So there's going to be some type of serious, serious conversation coming in. But if you guys are married, you're retreating. All right, you want a divorce, you're filing for divorce due to this shadiness. For some of you guys, um, like I said, you're going to find out that they were using you and married. We have a retreat card. Look, see, justice is here. Someone is going straight to the court. Someone's filing paperwork ASAP. Could be a Libra. Or it's like you're, like I said, the problem is going to be resolved with the ink, with the ink pot um, card here. So it's like someone's justice is coming in for someone. Someone that tried to get over, steal, lie manipulate use take advantage it's all going to go in your favor you're going to get justice but there's definitely a few snakes in the grass not a snake in the grass a few snakes in the grass okay so this is your reading gemini i will be extending your reading i will pin the link in the comments below i hope to see you all on the other side if not gemini i'm sending you lots of love and lights and i will see you guys in the next upload bye loves